Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we're going to be doing another what if video and this one when I saw this um, one of you guys commented this which was actually a really really cool idea this one could be quite interesting so this is what if the sun swap places with earth now at first you may think oh that won't do much maybe the earth won't suffer too much or, or the earth won't really change but the other planets that could have some um, interesting changes. So we're going to go ahead and immediately start this off. So right now, they're like this. So we're going to put the sun where Earth is and then the Earth where the sun is. So it will probably have to use the auto orbit feature because um, if we don't, everything will probably crash into the sun. But first, we need to obviously head to the Earth so we can place a brand new sun where the Earth is. So we want to put a sun right on top of it there. Then we need to delete the original Earth. And then over here, where the original sun is, we need to put an Earth in there. So the stars in the night sky of Earth will definitely change. So that's pretty much in the middle there. So we'll go ahead and delete this sun. Okay, so now it's like this. So the sun is over there. Oh, that is weird to look at, seeing the sun there. So I well, definitely, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and save this. We'll just call it uh, Sun Earth Swap. There we go. So just in case anything goes wrong. So... First scenario, we're, we're not going to use the auto orbit. We're just going to click play and we're going to see what chaos unfolds. So now we're here. Probably going to mess up all of the orbits. I mean, yeah, that, that's going to cause some problems. So Earth may just completely uh, spiral in and hit the sun. So to get a more realistic scenario, we probably would have to uh, click auto orbit. But yeah, here we go. So how's everyone doing? So Mars already is slingshotting around. You see Mercury and Venus are... Have like derailed almost. They're going all over the place. It's like the Earth is going to crash right into the sun, or, or, or apparently not. But that's pretty much ruined it anyway. So as you can see, we'll keep speeding it up. But some stuff has been completely tossed out. It looks like Mercury and Venus just didn't even orbit the sun. They just flew straight out. Um, since they already were carrying speed, the Earth is just gone <laughs> for some reason there. So some of the inner planets, or actually no, Mars is the only inner planet left. Some of the asteroid belt objects are still orbiting. It looks like mainly it's just the inner solar system that really got um, ruined from that. I mean, Earth, Venus has gone, Mercury um, disappeared off as well. So, yeah, Mars is the only inner object left. But other than that, even with this scenario, it seems like most of the orbits actually look all right. So Uranus, Neptune, they're, they're looking all right. Saturn and Jupiter, they're slightly changed due to the sun's location change. But other than that, with this scenario, it's mainly the inner solar system that gets punished. The outer solar system probably wouldn't change too much. So there we go. Let's uh, speed up a bit more. But I'm pretty sure with Jupiter now being so close to Saturn, you can see its orbits. They are they're cross, they pretty much cross now. I'm pretty sure Jupiter, when it gets close to Saturn, will either shoot it out or it could they could cause a collision. Anything could happen. So yeah, I reckon Jupiter could eventually interrupt Saturn, but mainly only Saturn because Saturn is the only other object near Jupiter um, of massive size so yeah with Ju Jupiter still pretty much sitting in the same place Uranus Neptune all the other objects they're too far away so it's probably only Jupiter and Saturn so unless Jupiter and Saturn shoot each other out I mean or even if Saturn just got got shot at all maybe Saturn would um, interrupt the other objects further out but I probably I assume it probably wouldn't too much but you never know it could do I mean, it just depends of where it is and where the other objects are. But, I mean, it looks um, like right now that Jupiter and Saturn are sitting quite comfortably where they are. But I'm pretty sure after a while they would uh, collide and cause some issues for the rest of the system. So, we'll go ahead and, uh, we'll go ahead and stop that now. And we're going to go ahead and move into the, the simulation again. So, Sun, Earth. Uh, Sun, Earth, Swap. There we go. So, now we're going to click Auto Orbit. And we're going to see uh, how this, um, the solar system works like that. So, we're going to go with this mode here. So, Auto Orbit. There we go. Right. So, now this should be quite interesting. Okay. Oh, okay. Now, that's looking pretty weird. So, obviously, since we put the Sun where Earth was, it still means that or Mars at this point is close but if Mars was further around in its orbit it would be further away but since Mars is close to where Earth was originally it um, is obviously going to be the closest object to the Sun but for instance Mars could be yeah, Mars could be all the way over here in this part of its orbit meaning it would be further out but with this current scenario where the planets currently are Mars is now the closest, but I mean, you could, there's loads of scenarios you could do for this. Mars could be the closest, Venus or Mercury could be the closest. Earth will probably be somewhere in the middle. 
But yeah, right now, Earth is now the second object from the sun there. So that's quite interesting. If we go further out, the outer solar system looks pretty similar. It's just there all its orbits have been put into circle spheres now. So, um, or, or more ovals, not spheres, sorry. But yeah, I'm pretty sure the outer planets won't change it. I'm pretty sure it's mainly the inner planets that will change here. So we'll go ahead and speed this up. And yeah, let's do this. So Mars should be quite interesting. So Mars is actually warmed up into the 50 degree area now. It's probably just going to sit around there permanently. So instead of being a cold desert, Mars will now be a hotter um, desert. And that's actually a pretty hot, <laughs> pretty hot for, uh, I mean, Earth very rarely would get something like that. So that's, uh, imagine the whole planet being like that, since this is uh, an average temperature on the surface. I mean, some areas will be hotter than others, but 56 is an average temperature compared to Earth's 14 degrees. It's going to be roasting hotter on there on Mars at the moment. And it's actually pretty hot, me recording this at the moment, since it's very, very hot where I am at the moment. But yeah, no, nothing compared to what Mars is like that right now. But speaking of heat, how is Venus coping? So Venus is cooled down to 245 um, now, since it is now further from the sun. How far away is it? So 1.79... Okay, so Venus has pretty much replaced what Mars originally was. Mars was originally around this sort of area. Maybe maybe it's a little further than where Mars was, actually. But yeah, Venus and Mercury are sort of where Mars would have been originally now. So, yeah, there's definitely a change there. How, how hot is Mercury? Okay, so Mercury is pretty much swapped roles with Mars for temperature. Now, Mercury is the one in the minus 40 or 30s, 40s sort of area. So, that's pretty interesting. So, yeah, Mercury and Mars had a pretty uh, interesting change. So, now Mercury is always going to be cold. Because, obviously, if you didn't know, Mercury is actually quite hot in the day. And it gets quite cold at night just due to um, its atmosphere not being able to hold the heat in. But since it's never, ever hot in the day, Mercury will permanently be cold all day round pretty much now. I mean, minus 37 as an average, that probably doesn't mean it gets very high even on the hottest parts of the object. So, yeah, Mercury is probably forever cold and Mars is probably forever hot. I mean, some heat probably does escape Mars at night since its atmosphere isn't really much um, to say for as well. But since it's much closer to the sun, it probably would hold in heat a little better than Mercury, but probably still would get fairly cold at night. I mean, it's nowhere near the temperature of what Mercury originally was, but it still will still sort of swap the role of Mercury being the hotter object all the time. But... Yeah, there we go. How is Earth? And Earth should be completely fine. I mean, it swapped with the sun. So that means its distance from the sun hasn't changed. It's just, they just swapped where they were. So Earth, pretty much completely fine. Nothing's really changed. So, yeah. The only objects that would really change in the night sky are Mars, Mercury, and Venus. And all the asteroid belt objects and further on, they're pretty much exactly the same. It's just the inner planets where they would slightly be different in the night sky. So with Earth in its current position... Mercury would probably be visible in the night sky because Mercury is uh, not an easy one to spot since it's always so close to the sun. Not not really um, possible or, re or very, very rare to see at night time just due to it being so close to the sun and it's always going to be near the glare of the sun. So, yeah, it'd be quite hard to see that guy at night. But now Mercury's further away than Earth, you probably would be able to see Mercury um, at night time. I mean, it doesn't reflect the most light, but it's still relative. It's still... Yeah, I think it's the closest planet to Earth now by the looks of it. I want to say it's closer than what Mars is, but it'd be quite hard to just make a guess there. They all look very... I mean, looking here, I kind of want to say Mercury's further away than, than Mars's orbit, but I don't know. I mean, it's, it's definitely very close to Earth now than where it originally was. But yeah, so there is that. So you probably have to see that in the night sky. Venus should still be able to see in the night sky. Probably still the brightest object. But Mars, Mars may be a little harder to see in the night sky, but it doesn't seem like it's as close as a Merc or originally where Mercury was, so maybe, maybe you would be able to see Mars. But yeah, there we go. Actually, let's see, let's see how far away it is. Okay, so how far is that in AU? So 0 0.6. Okay, so that's, I think that's sort of near where Venus normally is, somewhere around that sort of area. Okay, so I, I reckon you'd be able to see Mars in the night sky then. You, so you probably will be able to see all the inner planets um, at this point, so that's pretty cool. And obviously the outer planets, they're going to be completely the same. There's, there's no change. I mean, all other orbits are now um, ovals. There, there, there's no changes. It's only the inner solar system that really gets changed because we've only moved the sun one astronomical unit. It's not really like a massive, massive change. So the other planets, which are multiple astronomical units away, like Saturn, is eight of them away. One little change in the center of the solar system, it's not really going to make really any difference. I mean, Jupiter, the, the distance between Jupiter and Saturn is is pretty much non-existent. There's no, not really any change there. And obviously, the further out you go, the less changed it would be. So we've got Uranus and Neptune there. No changes there. But yeah, pretty uh, interesting now. So if we go to the chart mode, we can go to temperature, can't we? Yeah, there we go. So 
Venus is still the hottest, even though it's only the third planet from the sun now. So we've got Venus there. But then we have Mars actually being the second hottest now. Then we got Earth inside there being the third hottest. And then all the other planets are in the minuses. So there, all of that. All right, cool. Right, so there we go. So that does it for um, what if the Earth swap with the sun, guys. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. And also a massive thanks to the user who submitted this. So let me just uh, go up and look here. So it was the user Maxi Plays 95 They said, please do what if the sun and Earth swap places. So yeah, massive thanks to them for suggesting this idea. It did take a while for me to get around to it, but at least I got it done eventually. But yeah, I did want to did want to get around to doing it because I thought it was quite a cool idea, honestly. And yeah, I, I definitely feel, think it was quite interesting to see some of the sort of changes here. So yeah, guys, let me know what you think down below. If your opinions on what would happen in this scenario as well. Because remember, this is only a simulator. It's not like real life. Obviously, there'd be different circumstances and things would probably be different as well in real life. I mean, it's only a game. So we, they can't program all the realistic stuff in it. But I mean, I, I think this is quite a good representation of um, what could possibly happen um, if it ever went down. But yeah, that is it, guys. Let's see if we can go for uh, 40 likes on today's video, guys. And also subscribe if you're new. Helps on the journey to 10,000 subscribers now. And also a yeah, massive, massive thanks for 9,000 as well. And we only hit that recently. So yeah, huge thanks to everyone because the channel has been growing really quick recently. So a huge thanks. And let's hope we can get 10K uh, sometime soon because that'd be absolutely amazing, guys. But yeah, that is everything. So make sure you all have a great day. If you've got any more ideas, leave them in the comments down below. And yeah, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.